I welcome once again all the participants for the second day of the faculty development program on cloud computing. And today, Shishin, we are going to foc uh, we are focusing on installing Google App Engine and launching web applications using GAE Launcher. And let me introduce today's resource person. Uh, today's resource person is Mr. C M Varun, Assistant Professor. Working in a Department of Information Technology, St. Xavier's Catholic College of Engineering. He did his uh, BEM Computer Science in uh, St. Xavier's Catholic College of Engineering. And he completed ME Computer Science from the Indian Engineering College. And he currently pursuing a PhD from Anna University. He is having a, a vast uh, wide a, uh, research uh, area in uh, cloud computing cloud security, web security, big data analytics, web programming, etc. He has nine years of teaching experience and he is a certified train, trainer of EMC Square, Alison and ICT Academy. He trained around uh, 300 students in cloud infrastructure and services. Also, he trained uh, uh, around 300 students in uh, data science and big data analytics in R and also web designing, which includes uh, HTML, script scripting languages, PHP, as well as MySQL. He is a technical as well as non technical public speaker and uh, he is a uh, organizer for this uh, program. Uh, especially, uh, he organized uh, 30 virtual seminars during this lockdown period. And he has guided uh, so many projects related to web applications and he created uh, websites for the Diocese of Pulitari. And uh, he's a passionate and creative graphic designer. His uh, work, uh, his uh, graphic designs are uh, available in uh, all our college campus. So, so with this introduction, uh, we can start this today's session. I request the uh, of, uh, Today's uh, resource person, Varun sir, to take over the session. Varun sir. Yeah, ma'am. Ma'am, thank you for your thank introduction. You, and uh, I need to thank uh, the management, uh, Andrew sir, Anthony sir, and Andrew Sman for giving me this opportunity. Uh, maybe this session is uh, completely about uh, app engine as. Uh, as mentioned in the uh, brochure, uh, there is a, a cloud computing laboratory in uh, Anna University 2017 regulation syllabus. Okay. So this particular session is completely based towards that syllabus, how to take this to the students. Okay. Uh, many of them may be knowing about this app engine, and uh, uh, but how to take this particular uh, thing to the students in our lab. Okay, that is the main thing we need to concentrate. So what we have made some research and we have uh, identified some shortcuts uh, to complete this uh, particular lab uh, with the limited infrastructure for so that all the colleges throughout the Tamil Nadu can use it very easily. Okay, that is the main objective of this particular session. So before we get into this session, uh, we have some work to do that is uh, uh, if your chat window is enabled, uh, you can uh, let me share you a link there. So a small poll we are conducting. Okay. So you please uh, uh, participate in that poll and uh, we are expecting your uh, response soon. So I am just uh, sending uh, you a link there. So you, you can uh, enter your vote there in the poll. It is completely regarding uh, what are the uh, methods you are using to through which device you are getting into uh, this particular FD. Wait, we are just uh, uh, 
uh, starting the poll. So hope you have received and uh, we are getting started getting the response. How many responses yeah. did you receive? How many responses so far you have? How many responses you have received so far? It's displayed. Displayed there. So many were through uh, laptops or PCs and uh, some from mobile. So what is our main objective for this particular poll is to just know how you have uh, get into the things so that we can plan accordingly and uh, so we uh, hope we in almost uh, most of them have completed their poll. Unable to see the pool. Sorry, we have stopped the pool so that uh, some may not be unable to see it. No issues, uh, even though if you take or not, uh, no issues. There is nothing with that. We just want to know uh, how you have entered into that so that we have contacted it. So, so it is not visible, uh, sir. We have, uh, ma'am, we have uh, closed it, so it is not visible to you. We have closed the poll. Okay. So, session. This session is, uh, as I said, it is uh, completely about the Google App Engine. So, before getting into this Google App Engine, let me know uh, how many of you have already known about this Google App Engine. If possible, can you please reply in the chat window? If you are already known about this uh, Google App Engine, you can uh, please reply yes in the chat window.
Okay, thank you for your responses. Uh, many yes and many no. And uh, some one or two yes there. Okay. Uh, and now uh, let me uh, say that. Uh, but we know about the different services uh, provide by, provided by the cloud. So the cloud providers uh, provide many services for us. So basically, the infrastructure as a service, uh, platform as a service, and the storage as a service that we know. Okay. So here, uh, this app is specifically for platform as a service. So let us start. Uh, this is. So Google App Engine, it is referred to as GAE normally. Okay, uh, that is the thing available in your syllabus also. So it is often uh, uh, mentioned as GAE or simply we will be saying as an App Engine. Okay, so it, the main objective of this App Engine is to provide platform as a service and uh, cloud computing platform for developing uh, your web application. Okay. So here, what you can do is you use the platforms there. There are number of uh, uh, softwares, number of uh, frameworks available there. You can use those frameworks and you can create your own web applications. You can share it with them. Okay, that is the main objective of this Google App Engine. And uh, so how it is working is. All the uh, there's a Google App Engine. It contains number of applications or number of uh, uh, frameworks. All these applications are sandboxed, and uh, it runs across multiple servers. Okay. How major uh, this working across? Here in App Engine, what is the uh, advantage you have? Is there is automatic scaling, automatic scaling available in web application. So what is the advantage here is? Yeah, you can start using a web application or you can use the uh, resource available in the Google App Engine for some extent. If suppose uh, you need more, it will be providing you automatically. Once you need it, automatically it allocates more resources for you. That is the advantage of this particular Google App Engine. Okay. Next is, what are all the uh, platforms or the uh, frameworks this particular Google App Engine supports. So here you can see uh, it supports uh, it supports Java, .NET, .NET Go, PHP, Python, Node.js, Ruby, etc. There are more languages also, but the major uh, languages I have mentioned here. This is mentioned in the Google App Engine page also. Okay, these are the major uh, programs or applications supported by this Google App Engine. So here. Specifically, we are going to see about Python. Okay, as uh, now the Python is been evolving to a greater uh, reach. So, what I have planned is to import this Python into your web applications, and you can explain it to the students. But even though if you are not ready with Python, or if you want to provide Java or some other uh, PHP or some other applications to your uh, students, you can take it. Take that also. It is of very so. Uh, these are the applications, and uh, so this service is uh, free for a certain level. Okay, it is not free throughout. It is uh, free for some level. After that, you will be charged. Okay, and uh, once you log in into the account, okay, once you log in into the account, it will be asking for your credit card numbers and all those things. You need to provide the credit card numbers, and uh, and uh, once you log in for the first time, it will be giving you three hundred dollars. Uh, so uh, those three hundred dollars you can uh, use. So three hundred dollar uh, worth of resources you can use from the Google uh, App Engine for free, but you 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 cannot get the three hundred dollars as a refund. Okay, that is not possible. You can use the resources. Uh, use the resources. Uh, uh, for uh, the worth of 300 dollars. Okay. Uh, after that, if you want to extend or if uh, your particular web applications need uh, more space or more resources, it uh, it will be charging you. The billing will be mentioned in the uh, page. Okay, I will be showing it. Here. 
but what is the disadvantage here we face while we take it to the students is we may not permit or we may not uh, ask our students to enter uh, the credit card numbers all their credit card numbers and create an account and all those things are not possible when we are taking it to the lab okay so uh, what we have done in this particular session is uh, we have uh, downloaded the cloud we can download the cloud uh, sdk environments and also the python environment separately and we can run okay so all these things will be uh, uh, this python will be present in our system we will be making uh, the resources working from our system and but the uh, server side execution will be done by this uh, cloud google app engine okay so likewise we can we have planned so that you need not provide any uh, credit card details to the uh, app engine okay this is the a major thing we are going to focus towards today is saying so when you getting to uh, specifically towards python so the python frameworks supported by this google app engine is it supports the django uh, cherry pie premiered flask web 2 py and web app 2 so almost most of the famous uh, frameworks supported uh, for this uh, python web uh, web app okay all these things are supported so you can easily uh, design this uh, web app engine e easily design the web applications through this web app engine okay so with no delay we can uh, directly get into the uh, the practical point of view okay so just uh, give me two seconds of time let me close this sharing and let me open a small uh, video tutorial to you So first, uh, you want to open uh, your browser. Okay. Uh, then you want to uh, first thing we want to do is we want to download the uh, Python. Okay. And after downloading the Python, we can uh, download the SDK. Then we can install one by one. The procedure I will be saying because uh, downloading it takes some time and also installation takes some time. so that we may not be able to complete it with this particular session okay so uh, the downloading part and the installation part uh, we have recorded and it will be displayed to you and uh, next to the execution part we will be using demonstration mode okay so let me continue with this video so uh, the links and all those things we will be sharing with you okay after the finish completion of this video so first we want to go to this particular site that is python.org/downloads okay so this site will take you to the python page where you can see uh, the downloads available so there at the top at the top you can see uh, download python 3.8.3 that is the recent version available okay so whatever recent version available that will be present at the top of this particular page so once you uh, identify that this particular page you can just uh, uh, click over that particular uh, uh, download python 3.8.3 okay 
Okay. So once you click, it will ask for the uh, space where to sa uh, save. So you save that file, and you can see the file is uh, opened for you. You can just uh, open. So it will uh, show you the links to install now or uh, customize installation. Okay, as for uh, the lab point of view, you need not uh, uh, take much uh, stress over this custom installation. So you can directly go for install now. Okay, so this custom installation is not needed. You can directly click with this install now, and it will install it. Okay. So it will install uh, Python uh, 3.8.3. Now I am installing 3.8.3. If you need a older version in the same page, if you drop down, uh, you can find the older version also. So whatever version you want, you can download from that particular page. Okay. And uh, if your RAM is, uh, if your RAM is uh, fast enough, uh, it will download with the highest speed. Else, uh, it will take some time. Okay. Uh, as this is a recorded video, we have skipped it and made it faster. Okay, so it uh, looks so fast. Uh, it may take uh, it may take some time, so please uh, be patient over it. So now the installation uh, is almost over. Okay. So once the installation is over, it shows you that the setup was successful. Okay. Uh, once it is uh, seen, you can directly close it. Okay. And uh, now you can uh, check whether uh, the Python is installed there. So you can find the things there. You can open it. Uh, you can open that 3.8.3 uh, from your uh, uh, all programs and there you can check whether the files are executing properly or not. Okay, so the, likewise this uh, window will be opened like uh, the thing that I am giving as a print uh, test. I am going to give a small test window to check whether it is working fine. So I am giving a test. So once I give it, uh, uh, you can see that it prints test. Okay, so which means uh, the Python is working fine here. So, uh, so Python point of view, we have completed the things. So the Python is working fine. Now we want to go to the uh, cloud parts. Okay. So next we move to the uh, cloud. So for that we need to give cloud.google.com slash app engine slash docs. Okay, the links I will be sharing. Uh, Okay. So don't worry about it. The links I will be sharing again, so you can try it. Okay. So once you give that uh, cloud.google.com/app-engine/docs, so you can see the same thing I have mentioned in my slide. That is, what are all the programs available there? Okay. So all the programs available there that is mentioned there. So these are the applications which run. So uh, there you need to click the Python. Okay. There you need to click Python. Once you click the Python, uh, it will show you the Python app engine and the contents and the preferred environment and all those things available there. So there you need to select the uh, standard environment. So there are two environments, standard environment and flexible environment. Uh, standard environment is uh, free. Uh, flexible environment uh, uh, you need to pay when you go for uh, hiring. So we select the standard environments. So in standard environment, I am selecting uh, Python dot Python 2.7.3, sorry 2.7 comma 3. So it supports uh, uh, 2 as well as 3. So whatever series of Python you use, you can get. So there you click this quick start. So once you click this quick start, this particular page will be open to you. Okay. So there you can see. Uh, some cast and all those things given. You need not worry about that cast and things. You directly download this, uh, download the SDK. This button will be available there. 
you need to download this SDK available. So as I said, uh, the download will uh, start now. So it will take you to the next page. Sorry, it will take you to the next page of this uh, cloud SDK. There you can see cloud SDK installer. Okay, so the cloud SDK installer, you please click that cloud SDK installer. Now your download will start. Okay, and uh, there uh, the download has been uh, completed. Okay, so once the download has been completed, you can now uh, open the cloud SDK installer. And now you can double click to it. And here you click next, then they agree. And here you can choose whether you use for single user or multiple users. Okay, you can choose uh, whichever is okay for you. And here I am choosing single user and I click next. Now it will uh, show the uh, environment. What are the things bundled Python uh, cloud tools for PowerShell? Beta comments, uh, if needed, you please uh, click it. Uh, now it is not much needed for me. So I just uh, left hand checked and let me press the install button. So installation, it seems to be so quick, but it is not that quick. Uh, as it is a recorded video, we have somewhat uh, skipped the uh, installation part. So, uh, so it will uh, take some time to install there. Okay. So once the installation process is over, so it will be showing like this: Cloud, uh, Google Cloud SDK. So wait, uh, Google Cloud SDK has been installed. This will be displayed to you. Okay, clear. So now after that. Uh, you will be taken to this next page containing the completing Google Cloud SDK setup. There, uh, create start menu shortcut, create desktop shortcut, start Google Cloud SDK shell, then uh, run Google, uh, Google Cloud initiate. All these things will be already checked in. Okay. So here the last step is run gcloud.init. Okay. What this gcloud.init is to initialize uh, initialize the cloud. Uh, Google Cloud setup, you want to log in into your account. Okay. So if this particular uh, thing is unchecked, you want to uh, manually do it. Okay. Or if you have checked it, it will be doing automatically. We can see. Okay. Now you can click the finish button. So once uh, everything is seen checked, you can click the finish button. So now uh, after you click the finish button, now you can see uh, the cloud SDK is open for you. Okay, this is the actual cloud SDK available. It uh, as we have seen run G cloud in it, it runs the G cloud in it. Okay, so which says uh, welcome to Google cloud SDK and uh, it uh, requires all the uh, things that you need to diagnose and it will be asking for uh, whether uh, you would like to log in. Okay, so here you need to give yes. Okay, you need to log in so that only you can use the console. Okay, so uh, so here you need to give why. That is yes. Then press and enter. So it will take you to the browser. And it will ask uh, whether you uh, give permission to, whether you allow to use this uh, Google Cloud SDK to access your account, you please allow it. Okay. So once you allow it, it will take you to the, uh, first it will, uh, you can see there the local host 8085, the page will be loading and then it will take you to the Cloud SDK page. So please wait for that. So now you can see this page will be open for you. You are now authenticated with the cloud SDK, Google Cloud SDK. Okay. So in this page, when you go to the bottom, 
if you are scrolling down, so you can see there are number of uh, uh, tools and tutorials available for you. If you are in need of these tools and uh, uh, tutorials, you can uh, download it and you can view it. Okay. So now I am uh, once again opening uh, things. So, so two things we have uh, installed. That is the cloud Google Cloud installer, Google Cloud SDK installer, and the Python 3.8.3. Three two things we have downloaded and two things we have installed. Okay. Now what I am going to do is. Uh, going to execute a sample program uh, for this uh, in this uh, Google Cloud SDK. Okay, so whether this is followable, can you follow, or any convenience with this particular? Can I move with the same speed or if I want to reduce my speed, you can please say. Yeah, thank you for your response. So, uh, so one uh, as uh, I will be explaining uh, one uh, example program, a sample program through this uh, particular mode. OK, then I will be explaining the next one through the uh, demonstration. Okay, we can see both the program, uh, how it executed and all those things. So here what I am doing is first I am creating a new folder. Okay, uh, so new folder I am creating and there uh, let me give some name. Okay, here I am giving us my sample projects. Okay, I am giving us a my sample project. So any name you can give. Okay, so. So please brief installation cloud SDK once again. Surely, sir, I will be repeating it at the last uh, during uh, the recap session. Surely. Thank you. So I have created the uh, folder, okay, new folder. Next, what I want to do is uh, one important thing I want to say to you now. Uh, that is when you are getting into this uh, cloud SDK, that is if you are working with this Google app engine, you need to know one important thing, uh, structuring. Okay, so I am getting into this structuring. If you want to uh, first in this example, what I am going to do is I am going to directly use a Python program, a small hello world web application from Python and just going to engine. Okay, so nothing more is going to happen here. So for this whatever web application or Python based web application you are going to use uh, in Google App Engine, the structure is very important. What are the structure there is? For a simple web app, you need to create an app first. Okay, and you need to have an YAML file with, uh, that is a .yaml file. Okay, so here also I am going to create two files. One is the Python file, okay, maybe index.py and another one is the yam file app.yaml this yam file is to uh, connect your browser uh, sorry connect your application to the cloud okay so for this uh, in, uh, configuration okay you are using this yam file so we can see how it is working So what I can do is so you just uh, open a notepad that is uh, almost enough. Okay, you can uh, uh, open a notepad. Maybe a little slower. Let me wait. So open your uh, notepad. 
Okay, and I am going to type the Python file. Okay, so I am going to type the Python file first. So simply I am giving us print. This code let us execute again uh, during the demonstration. Okay. So print uh, content type. I am giving us a text slash plain. Okay. Uh, next a blank print. Next uh, I am giving a print with a high. Welcome to the FDP. Okay, so now uh, I would like to save. So as we have opened in uh, Python file, you just get into this uh, my sample project and save with file name dot py. Okay, so you need to give uh, file name dot py and please uh, as save as type. Below that, you can see save as type. There you select all files and click save. Okay. So once it is done, you can see the Python file saved there. So there too, as you have installed Python, the uh, the files logo icon will be Python icon. Okay. So you can see it. check with that. And the next, I am going to create the AMP file. So for that, let me open another one notepad. Okay, I'm opening the notepad and in that notepad in the ARM file, it is a configuration file. Okay, so uh, so you need not buy got anything available in this ARM file. It is provided by the Google file. Okay, so in the Google window cloud.google.com slash app engine. So these links I will be giving it to you. So or else you can directly get into the Google search engine and in Google search you just uh, uh, search for app.oaml. Okay, it will directly take you to this particular page. Okay, so this particular page shows how this configuration is being made. So here you can see runtime. Okay, runtime is Python. We, we are using Python. So there uh, it is given as 2.7. Okay, if you are using 2.7 version you can give us a give it as uh, 2.7 if you are going for greater versions uh, we have used 3.8 okay so you can uh, use 3.8 okay but uh, in greater version uh, some uh, greater version is not supported by this google app engine so normally we will, so normally we will be using this uh, sorry wait Normally we will be using a 2.7. Okay, so because it will, uh, the SDK is not supporting the uh, latest version, so uh, you can use even though you use the greater version, you can give the runtime as Python 2.7. And next is the API version, it's one. Next is thread safe. Uh, while using this uh, Python and this SDK, uh, the uh, thread safe is not available for us, so. Uh, if, we need not give this thread save, but if it is not possible for us to uh, delete that particular line. So what you want to do is you need to have this uh, thread save colon false. Okay, and next to it you have different handlers there. So handlers in the handlers you will be giving the URL. Okay, if you are having the app dot yam file in some folder, and if you are having the script in another folder, or uh, the supporting files in some other folder, you need to give the full path there. Okay. And the next line is the script which contains the name of the script which you are going to give. So these are the things available in the YAM file. Okay, so you, this you can get it from the app.yam.
So now uh, let me get into this file and uh, we can type the contents. Okay, here I am typing runtime uh, Python 3.7 or 3.8. Uh, normally we use 2.7. Okay, you use 2.7. API version is 1. Here I have used just 3.7. It may not work anyway. I need to change it. Okay. Uh, API version is 1 and a thread save is false. Handler. Uh, so handlers you want to give and you need to save it as add.yaml. Sorry, app.yaml. Okay, you save it as app.yaml and the file will be like this. So our file will be like this. Runtime is Python 27. Then the API version is 1. Then I am using thread safe, it is false. Handlers, you can have this URL and uh, as the YAM file and the Python file I am uh, having in the same folder, I need not give any path, just this slash is enough. Okay. Uh, next, uh, let me get into this SDK. Okay. So, in SDK, uh, you can uh, run this file. Okay, how to run this file is you need to go for Google Cloud. So, Google hyphen cloud, then uh, hyphen or a tab will give, take you to hyphen SDK. Okay, then make a backslash and press the tab to get into the bin folder. Then make another one slash and get into the uh, dev app server dot py. Okay, this will be available. You can use tab. You need not type it. You can use tab. This is normal to the uh, CMD command prompt which we use. Okay, so uh, after that leave a space and give the actual path in which you have created your file. Okay. So where you have created your file is I have created in this uh, particular folder. Okay, so I am just copying it and taking it to there and I am pasting it there. Now click enter. If you want to this done, you click enter. It will take some uh, 30, uh, 20 to 30 seconds. Okay to run because it need to configure with the cloud k cloud and then it will be running so it takes some time based on your bandwidth it will be working fine okay so it executes the configuration file configure with the uh, net uh, network and then it uh, runs the python file and it will be checking for error okay if there is no error okay it will be showing like this and you need to go to the browser okay because we are doing web application okay and uh, it is a server based execution once you run it so let me uh, show it again so once you run it so wait for a minute So there I need to give us localhost colon 8080. Okay, that is the uh, link that will be provided in this particular uh, running environment SDK. So you go to this localhost colon 8080, there your output will be displayed there. Okay, so this is what actually happens with this uh, uh, Google app engine. So here you are executing a server server based uh, execution using your uh, cloud SDK and the Python. So here the output is, uh, the output showed uh, to you is, uh, hi welcome to the FDP. So the same thing which I have kept in the uh, index.
so that will be displayed there hi welcome to the fdp okay so this is what actually happens with this uh, uh, google app engine so hope we can uh, directly get into this uh, demonstration parts okay so please give me some two minutes uh, to open uh, to share my entire window so that you can see how it is going to work okay So we hope you can look into my window. So I opened a new uh, folder. Okay. So there, let me create one folder there. Okay, I'm creating a folder. So first, first example. Okay, this is a folder I am creating. Okay. So inside that, I am going to create a Python file first. Okay. So please give some minutes.
okay so here i am going to uh, type that python file so similar to the thing we have seen in the uh, video print and uh, uh, given uh, contains hyphen sorry type okay and there i am giving text slash play so this i have given and next uh, let me use some uh, then uh, here let me give some text to display giving hi welcome and to save this uh, so i am saving in the first example i am giving us uh, index dot py and uh, here you select all files then save so now uh, one file we have created next uh, you want to uh, create the yam file so so let me create at the king so opening a new notepad there i am typing and time is then api version it is one then you need to grieve uh, thread save okay it is false and you need to give the handlers handlers first you need to give url so sorry uh, hyphen url uh, colon the same path and uh, next is the scripts index dot py okay. and now i am saving it as app dot aml and make this as all files and save okay so now both the things are saved in my system okay now next what i want to do is i want to start the cloud sdk so while starting your cloud sdk okay while starting your cloud sdk uh, please make one thing very clear okay right click over this cloud sdk so you can see in the left uh, bottom okay left side bottom i have this cloud sdk you right click over it and you run as administrator okay because uh, while using web applications you may be needed to install some other features also okay so while coming to the next uh, experiment uh, installing a huge web application we will be seeing that how to import those things so in such a conditions uh, you may be in need to install uh, many uh, files from external source that is from the cloud okay so for that uh, you need you may be in need of administrator permission so uh, you can use this run administrator so you right click over this google sdk and uh, there you select run as administrator Okay. So now your uh, Google SDK has been opened. Remember and understand uh, application of knowledge is not just an exam. In the last week, the project is being conducted in the United States. Now, if I uh, if I ask the student to find me the number, the student will answer. I 
ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕਿਆ ਸਮਝ ਜਾਣਾ ਮਾ ਲੋ ਯਾਰ ਪਾਸ ਕਰਦੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਲਈ ਕੇ ਆਡੀਓ ਸੋ ਨਾਓ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਕਲਾਉਡ ਐਸ ਡੀ ਕੇ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਸੈਡ ਦੈਟ ਇਸ ਜੀ ਕਲਾਉਡ ਇਨ ਇਟ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਚੈੱਕ ਦੈਟ ਆਲਸੋ ਓਕੇ ਐਂਡ ਸੋ ਫਾਰ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਗਿਵ ਇਸ ਜੀ ਕਲਾਉਡ in it so once you signed in it will be remaining in the signed in uh, fashion so uh, repetition is not needed okay uh, but for to explain you what you need to do is uh, once this is open there you can type g cloud in it and press enter okay so if you are not signed in okay if you are not signed in what it does is it will be taking you to the signing in portion okay so now we can see uh, that is as i have already signed in it shows my account okay so whether i want to report or reinitialize or create new configuration so now i don't want anything so uh, let me give control c which is the termination okay okay so in this cloud sdk shell if you want to close uh, any of the running command you can use control c to terminate the particular uh, command okay so now this is open uh, so how we can run this particular thing is as i said earlier uh, you need to i google cloud then if you press uh, tab this is tk will be available okay make a backslash then search for bin using tab then uh, make another one backslash then uh, the dev app server okay so make a space and in double quotes so participants can you look into my uh, administrator cloud sdk google cloud sdk shell window so if anybody is not able to connect it please inform Uh, yes yes okay thank you so uh, inside this double quotes i want to give uh, the path okay for that what i can do is uh, just to get into the folder okay just to get into this folder and in that folder at the top you can see the entire path okay you please copy that path you copy that path Uh, come back and uh, you paste it you right click and paste it so you can see okay here 
uh, in this name uh, varun space c space m is available so if i am not giving double quotes what it takes is it takes from c to varun and it will be finished okay that's why i have used uh, double quotes if in your particular uh, uh, path if there is no space you can just write without uh, double quotes okay and after that the click enter so many of them uh, uh, in the chat box i can see difficult to remember the steps uh, request you to share the video after this session yeah surely we will be sharing this uh, recorded session as well as the video which i have shared the link i will be giving it to you so you can use it as well as at the end of this fdp we will be sharing almost all the steps and the uh, codes etc to you okay so no issues about it we will be sharing it not don't worry so now uh, uh, this end thing has been executed maybe with some uh, error i think so Okay, so let me uh, do it. That is in a uh, yam file. It is uh, saying the error in uh, line five. Okay, so you can check. so maybe some issue in my connection let me check that uh, yam file again Okay, so 
it will be executed like this first uh, skipping sdk update check and uh, starting api server at uh, some local host then it says starting module default running at uh, this particular local host so this is the uh, address where your uh, particular output will be available okay so you need to now move to your output okay so i am getting into this uh, local local host colon 88 okay local host colon 88 And now press enter. Plus colon 8080. Now if I enter, so I will be getting the output. Hi, welcome to FDB, which I have given in the. Oh, okay. So this is uh, how normally uh, this particular uh, simple things you can execute. Okay. Now getting into the uh, bigger part. Okay, this is a simple application, so you can. Uh, make it so easy when you go for huge applications okay so so let me stop this with the control c and let me show you another one example file here okay i have created google app engine 01 okay this folder i have created this code i will share so you can uh, give it to your student also or you can use some other codes which may be easy so from where you need to get the code all those things i will be explaining okay so here in the google app engine what are the things i have kept here is this is the uh, app.yam file okay next i have the uh, index file next i have the um, css file okay next i have the py file so four important files this reference link is just to show you from where we have uh, we are you collected this data okay this i will be sharing it to you so these four are the important things we need to have app.yam index.html main.css uh, to do.py uh, okay these are the things available here and inside images i have kept a small image okay so you can just download from in net and you can use it okay and uh, getting into the codes and code dandre acvc no undu kya kaano undu indi acvc ni unte code vasile mutru so getting into the code so first uh, we have the application so in the application just to give the folder name okay this is the application okay next the version is 1 next run time is python either you give us python or python 27 anything is okay okay and next you give ap underscore version it is 1 okay and here handlers i am using so for css i can use slash css uh, for images i am using slash images and this to do dot python is uh, somewhere in the folder so if you want to denote somewhere in the folder you can use like this slash dot star okay so these are the things uh, uh, i am giving for handlers okay. and in index Uh, these are the codes which you may be knowing so i may not be explaining it so just a html file containing some uh, div tags and uh, tabular columns to uh, create a to do list to collect some details and uh, uh, to make an entry okay and uh, there is a main dot css where you will be storing the css file and in to do dot py okay Uh, this thing you need to consider you can use any web app code which you have okay whatever web application code you have you can directly uh, use it okay okay so here uh, whatever web application code you have you can use it 
one important thing you need to do is all these things you need to import uh, from google app engine okay because uh, this one is running using the wsga uh, web app framework okay web python web app framework i have not in installed it in my system also i have not taken it from the console okay if i am running this in the console i will be showing it in the next uh, part uh, if i am running it in the console i can uh, uh, use this uh, without importing i can directly import from the console and use okay because uh, here i am not using any console or i haven't installed these things in my system or in my sdk what i can do is you can directly give like this from google.appengine.api import users then the web app uh, import run underscore wga app so these things you need to import into the app okay so if uh, only these things will be changing other things will be the uh, same code which you are going to have okay and at the last you have this run underscore wsga underscore app of application which is to run this okay normally which we, that you will be having it in your web application okay so whatever web application code you have in python you just add these contents there and make such a editing that is only for this wsga application uh, you add it okay so now to run this particular program the same way you can run okay and uh, you can go to the sdk uh, google google hyphen cloud uh, slash sdk oh, sorry hyphen sdk then uh, slash you would select the bin slash uh, select uh, dev app server space so in say double quotes uh, you copy contents the path copy the path just to copying the path and i am pasting it there okay now enter please wait for some time so hope the things got fine okay. and there may be some so local host to call an 8080 i am getting into that expecting output it is taking me to the page yeah fine okay so things made it but uh, actually the page will be the login page as i have logged in uh, to this it uh, directly take into this will be the home page okay so you can create new to do you can log in so you can log in this page and uh, you give some uh, uh, mail id there and click login okay it will take you to this particular page Okay. so there you can give this and you can create so this is what a simple web application uh, which we have made it okay uh, so if you wish to have this code let me share these codes again so any doubt in this particular session any difficulties
So let me share you a small link. You can make a note of it. And you can. So to download Python, so first step we have done is uh, we have downloaded the Python file. Okay. So this is the first one to download Python. You can use this particular link. Okay. So hope it is available in your chat window. You can look into it. Okay. Uh, to download Python, you can use this uh, particular link. And to download Cloud SDK, you can you can directly click over this link which I am sharing here in the chat window. Okay, so you can uh, connect to the Cloud SDK uh, through this particular link. Okay, and next, And next, uh, where to get the codes? So we are normally using the GitHub. Many of them may be knowing about this uh, GitHub. Okay. So if you are already using, you can get it from there. And uh, let me share the GitHub link here. Okay. This is a sample application uh, they have created for the Uber. Okay. The Uber platform, they have created a sample application. That code I have shared here, the link. Uh, you can uh, download many codes from this particular uh, GitHub website. Okay. Uh, because this particular, when considering this particular lab for the students, uh, they are not concentrated about any specific web application. So make some simple web application uh, so that the students may be find easy for that. And one question, sir. Once cloud SDK is installed, is it necessary to be uh, online to execute? Yes, surely. Because we are running from the uh, cloud, so surely we need uh, internet facility. If any changes done in the Python file will be reflected dynamically in the browser by just refreshing it, or do we need to run it again? Uh, this will be uh, automatically reflected there. Okay, no, don't worry. Uh, if we make any change in the Python file, that will be reflected in the cloud SDK itself. If you check in, if you make some changes, and if you check into the cloud SDK, you can find the changes. It will be showing these are the changes you have made. Whether this should be reflected, like this, it will be showing in the SDK. So. You can directly uh, refresh and get the things. And one more link I want to share it with you is uh, this is the installation video which I have shared in the first session. Okay, so to get the video tutorial, you can use this particular link and. Uh, The code which I have used. Okay, so that you can download from this particular link. The codes which I have used for this particular session, that uh, sample uh, web application as well as the web application for to do's. Okay, so those things you can download from this uh, particular page which I have shared to you. The chat window. So now, if you are having any doubt, you can please raise your hands or you can just ask in the chat window. Yeah. Yeah, I Dear participants, if you have any doubts, you can ask either by using a chat window or you can raise your hand.
so any feedback link will be provided here yes ma'am at the last end of the session we will be sharing the feedback link and uh, you will need to fill it uh, will you share the recorded sessions are at the end of the fdp after the end of all the sessions uh, we will be sharing this uh, recorded session the entire recorded sessions with, with you and we will be sharing the link with you from where you need to get all the details through mail whether only one app dot cam file is sufficient to run with more than one python or core file yeah sir surely uh, one app dot cam file is enough because we have one main file and we will be connecting all other files to that particular main file or we will be calling from that particular file so it is enough to have one app dot cam file and link with that particular main file or the core file and uh, last i let me share one uh, thing uh, a console okay because let me show it to you this console we haven't uh, haven't shown to you okay so let me show it to you So hope you can see. This is the Google Cloud Platform uh, console. So it is main page. Okay. So here, what you can do is uh, you can create your new project from here. Okay. And using that cloud shell, similar to SDK, you have the cloud shell here. Using that, you can run. Okay. So at the top, you can see your free trial is waiting. Activate now to get. Dollar three hundred, so you will be dollar three hundred will be credited, and uh, you can utilize that uh, uh, resources up to dollar three hundred. Okay, I have just showing it to uh, demonstrate you, so I haven't uh, used this account. Okay. Also, you have uh, all the tutorials here, okay, and with which you can. Uh, just uh, import the things to into your uh, cloud shell and you can run okay similar to that you have this uh, cloud shell my first project this is the uh, project i have created so if you want to create new project uh, you can create from here you click over it and uh, you click new project new project will be created okay so if you want to run with this cloud console you can use this particular platform but it is uh free only for a limited and uh, by logging into it it will be asking for the credit card details and all those things so it is not possible for uh, students to get logged into it for lab okay, if you are using for some research purpose you can uh, use this particular platform okay so for that you need to use this particular uh, uh, link that is console.cloud.google.com So I have shared the link. With this, uh, you can uh, get into the thing. So there is no uh, trial period, sir, uh, for this uh, platform as a service. One day. Uh, the thing is based on the credit okay you have 300 dollars you can use the 300 dollars 
and once the 300 dollar is completed there is no particular point you need to complete it within one day two days that is not an issue uh, so when you are finished with the 300 dollar you need to pay again and one more question sir could you please address the issues of energy efficiency in resource management at the cloud data centers sir i am not getting the specific uh, question but uh, commonly what i understand is surely there will be issues uh, in energy efficiency that is uh, it consumes more power and uh, Uh, for cooling system, it consumes more power. For uh, uh, 24 by 7, the hard disk or the storage need to be running. So for that, it takes more power, and the total power consumption is uh, very high, uh, considering this uh, cloud data centers. And for this energy efficiency, what we can do? I am not having the accurate uh, uh, solution for that. but we can think of having some uh, flexible storage system or some flexible uh, management system with which uh, already many uh, uh, service providers are having such uh, environment where the uh, whatever space it is actually running that particular storage space will be made running and the other things will be kept idle so likewise we can plan for some efficient algorithm with which uh, uh, we can make only limited uh, space running or the limited uh, service running and the remaining space may be taken to idle state so that uh, the energy may be stored i think so but there is no accurate solution with me i haven't uh, any research based on this efficiency in uh, cloud data center but we can uh, request the participants here maybe some uh, uh, ec based or triple e based participants may be available they can think about this and if they are able to get some solution with that we can import our algorithm also so we can make some other solution for them so good question sir thank you any other questions anyone ask ask question so if we want to write programs in java could you please give a brief uh, about configuration mam you need not worry about anything regarding configuration of java or python just uh, whatever methods we have followed here you need to follow there also okay there while we are selecting the uh, config sdk installer we have selected for python okay but when you want to use java you select it for java okay and the remaining procedure is same uh, the app.yam you will be getting from the uh, cloud provider so that too is similar and use that okay so the configuration this not a matter so i have answered for you mr arvind so any other questions
Varun sir. Yeah, ma'am. Tell me why the decision. Tell me why the decision. Any other Just, question? Just uh, let me Participant. let me share the feedback form. Exactly. Okay. The feedback form is being shared in the chat window. Kindly fill this feedback form. Okay, thank you for your wonderful presentation, Arun sir. Hope that all the participants have understood the concept of uh, Google App Engine. Management for providing this opportunity to conduct this FTP, and also I thank the organizing team, Dr. R. P. Anjou Kumar, uh, Anjani sir. He has given all the background support, and uh, Varun sir, the organizer as well as uh, the resource person of today. I thank uh, everyone. I thank all the participants for uh, attending this session uh, patiently. Thank you. Kindly fill the feedback. So you can just to fill the feedback form. So till now only 46 responses, So if you have filled the feedback form, you can leave. Uh, so tomorrow join through the same uh, link.
Angeline, ma'am, if you are not able to get the link or if you are not able to fill the feedback form, please mail us. The, uh, the problem you face, please send us through mail. We will be considering it, ma'am. Angeline, ma'am, hope you got the answer. And uh, Sunita, ma'am, the same. Uh, if you are not able to fill it, uh, please uh, send us a mail. Mm -hmm. Hoping that uh, what the problem you have faced, so that we'll be uh, correcting it, and uh, we'll be providing you. Mm -hmm. So all the materials and the recorded videos and the video tutorials, whatever we used. Uh, we will be putting in a page and we will be sharing the link at the end of the FDP.